hey what's up guys this is wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new after effects tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create really amazing particle low animation inside of adobe after effects so let's see what we will create today This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes or sign up required to use or download Mixkit assets. Click the link in the description box below to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Before I start the tutorial I like to tell you in this tutorial I am using third party plugin called Tracode Particular. If you don't have this plugin you can download a free trial version from the link in the description box below. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it Particles and i'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 24 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok ok now uh, import our logo you can also use text as well now select our logo and place it into this timeline let's make it a little bit bigger now select this logo then right click then choose pre compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now select this layer then go to toolbar and select this uh, rectangle tool then create a rectangle something like this now go to beginning of this animation then create a uh, keyframe on max path then press V on your keyboard then double click on this max path then change the position something around here now go to around 3 seconds then double click on this max path and move the rectangle now max feather set it to 100 Ok, uh, now select this uh, layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to um, logo emitter, e -M -M -I -T -R, and select mobile attributes and click on ok. Now make this layer 3D by clicking here and then turn off visibility of this layer. Ok now create a new uh, black solid layer so right click new then click on solid and rename it to particular and then click on ok and you go to effect and preset window and search for particular now select this effect and apply onto this uh, particular layer Now go to emitter, then uh, emitter per second set it 3 triple 0, then double 0, and then go to around 3 seconds, then set a keyframe on particle per second, and then go to around 1 second forward, and then particle per second set it 0. Now emitter type set it uh, light S and then velocity set it 0 velocity random set it 0 velocity distribution set it 0 velocity from motion set it 0 and then emitter size set it uh, xyz individual and emitter size set it 50 size um, uh, y set it 50 
and Z set it one. Now change the emitter type to uh, layer. Then uh, go to layer emitter and then layer set it our logo emitter and uh, layer sampling set it particle birth time. Looks good to me. Now go to uh, particles and particle life per second set it um, 2.5 and then randomness set it uh, maybe 75 then feather set it 100 and then size set it 2 then go to uh, opacity over life uh, choose the second preset then um, blend more set it uh, add okay now go to physics then go to air and then windex set it uh, 75 and wind y set it minus 75 then go to turbulence field then effect size set it 2 and effect position set it 150 looks good to me now select this uh, particle layer then press ctrl plus D now select this duplicate layer then go to emitter uh, sorry go to particle and particle live set it to then go physics and then windex set it uh, 100 and wind y set it uh, minus 100 and effect position set it 300 okay now go to project window and select our logo comp and place it into this timeline now select this uh, particular layer and then change the layer mode to add now select our logo comp then go to beginning of this animation then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe now select this effect and apply onto this layer now whip angle set it maybe minus 90 degree and um, transition composition set it maybe 82 then set a keyframe on transition completion and then go to around three seconds and transition completion set it uh, ten percent and increase the feather amount to two hundred. Okay, let's uh, ramp preview it. Now uh, select this uh, before ramp preview. Select this um, logo comp and move it few frames forward let's adjust the timing a little bit Okay, let's run through it. Looks good to me. Okay, now create a, another composition. Um, let's call it main. Then click on OK. Now select our particles comp, then place it into this timeline. 
now press s then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and then scale amount set it 80 perfect okay now uh, import our background you can download this background from link in the description box below now select this background and place it into this timeline now go to effect and preset window and search for tint now select this effect and apply onto this um, background okay now create a uh, black solid uh, layer then put it all above the layers now go to toolbar and select this rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks path then hold alt and drag then click on invert okay now create a new adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen now select this effect and apply onto this layer and sharpen amount set it 10 then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise now select this effect and apply onto this layer then noise amount set it 5 Okay, now go to around 6 seconds, then select these particles and the background layer. Now press T, then set a keyframe on opacity, then go forward few uh, frames and opacity amount set it 0. Okay, let's try and preview this. Our animation is complete. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.